upon your law. There is no force in the decrees of Venice. I stand for judgment. Answer. Shall I have it? Answer upon my power. I may dismiss this court, unless Bellario, a learned doctor, whom I have sent for to determine this, come here today. My lord, here stays without a messenger with letters from the doctor. New come from Padua. Bring us the letters. Call the messenger. Good cheer, Antonio. What's man, courage yet, that you shall have my flesh, blood, bones, and all, and thou shalt lose for me one drop of blood. I am a tainted mother of the flock. Meet us for death. The weakest kind of fruit drops earliest to the ground, and so let me. You cannot better be employed, Bassanio, than to live still and write mine epitaph. Came you from Padua, from Bellario? From both, my lord. Bellario greets your grace. Why dost thou wet thy knife so earnestly? <clears throat> to cut the forfeiture from that bankrupt death. Not on thy soul, but on thy soul, harsh Jew, thou mayst I not king. But no metal can, no, not the hangman's axe, bear half the keenness of thy sharp envy. Can no prayers pierce thee? No. None that thou hast wit enough to make. Oh, be thou damned inextricable, inextricable dog, and for thy life let justice be accused. Thou almost makest me waver in my faith to hold opinion with Pythagoras that souls of animals infuse themselves into the trunks of men. Thy cursed spirit governed a wolf who hanged for human slaughter even from the gallows in his fell soul fleet, and whilst thou layest in thy unhallowed dam infused itself in thee, for thy desires are wolfish, bloody, Storm and Robinus! Tell the constrail to seal from off my bond, thou but offendest thy lungs to speak so loud. Prepare thy wit, good good, or it will fall to careless ruin. I stand here for law. This letter from Bellario doth commend a young and learned doctor to our court. Where is he? He attendeth here hard by to know your answer, whether you'll admit him. With all my heart. Some three or four of you, go give him courteous conduct to this place. Meantime, the court shall hear Bellario's letter. Your grace shall understand that at the receipt of your letter I am very sick. But in the instant that your messenger came, in loving visitation was with me a young doctor of Rome. His name is Balthazar. I acquainted him with the cause in controversy between the Jew and Antonio the Merchant. We turned o'er many books together. He is furnished with my opinion, which, bettered with his own learning, the greatness whereof I cannot enough commend, comes with him at my importunity to fill up your grace's request in my stead. I leave him to your gracious acceptance, whose trial shall better publish his commendation. You hear the learned Bellario, what he writes, and here I take it is the doctor come. Give me your hand. Come you from old Bellario? I did, my lord. You are welcome. Take your place. Are you acquainted with the difference that holds this present question in the court? I am, informed thoroughly of the cause. Which is the merchant here, and which the Jew? Antonio and old Shylock, both stand forth. Your name is Shylock? Shylock is my name. Of a strange nature is the suit you follow. Yet in such rule that the Venetian law cannot impugn you as you do proceed. You stand within his danger, do you not? Aye, so he says. You confess the bond? I do. Then must the Jew be merciful? On what compulsion must I? Tell me that. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesses him that gives and him that takes. Tis mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the throned monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power, the attribute to awe and majesty, wherein doth sit the dread and fear of kings. But mercy is above this sceptered sway. It is enthroned in the hearts of kings. It is an attribute to God himself. Earthly power doth then show likest gods when mercy seasons justice. Therefore, Jew, though justice be thy plea, consider this that in the course of justice none of us should see salvation. We do pray for mercy, and that same prayer doth teach us all to render the deeds of mercy. I have spoke thus much to mitigate the justice of thy plea, which if thou follow, this strict court of Venice must needs give sentence gets the merchants there. My deeds upon my head. 